Vin Baker played for Old Saybrook High School in Old Saybrook, Connecticut. Even though he had an impressive senior season, he was still considered lanky and undersized for a big man. Thus, he was passed over by the bigger Division I schools and signed a scholarship offer from the University of Hartford. As one of eight newcomers in 1989, Baker's college career started slow, averaging 4.7 points and 2.9 rebounds per game, enough for a spot on the North Atlantic Conference All-Rookie Team. Things changed drastically during Baker's sophomore season. Now as a starter, Baker averaged 19.7 points and 10.4 rebounds and was a first-team All-NAC selection. As a junior, Baker averaged 27 points, which was second in the country, 10 rebounds and nearly 4 blocks, fifth in the country, though his team finished an abysmal 6-21. Entering his final season, Baker was called America's best kept secret by Sports Illustrated. Baker averaged 28.3 points, which was fourth in the country, and finished with 792 points in only 28 games, a conference record that still remains in the NSC, now known as the American East Conference. He finished with 2,238 points, a school record that still stands. However, Baker was not able to translate his immense scoring abilities into team success, as none of his teams never made the NCAA tournament. The best his team finished was 14-14. Baker's jersey hangs on the east wall of Chase Arena in the Wright Family Pavilion. After his college career at the University of Hartford, not far from where he grew up in Old Saybrook, Connecticut, Baker was selected by the Milwaukee Bucks with the 8th overall pick in the 1993 NBA Draft. After four seasons with the Bucks, he was traded to the Seattle Supersonics following the 96-97 season in a three-team deal that sent Tyrone Hill and Terrell Brandon to the Bucks and Sean Kemp and Sherman Douglas to the Cavs. After four seasons in Seattle, Baker was traded to the Boston Celtics with Jamon Williams for Kenny Anderson for Talapota Pinko and Joseph Forte. While his career average includes 15 points per game, his numbers had dropped considerably in recent years. After the 98-99 lockout season, Wade Baker's weight ballooned to nearly 300 pounds and his game suffered tremendously. While Baker was able to get his weight down around the 250, Baker revealed that he was a recovering alcoholic who used to bench in hotel rooms and at home after playing poorly. In an interview in the Boston Globe, Baker said Celtics coach Jim O'Brien smelled alcohol on him in practice and confronted him about it. The team suspended him and he was eventually released. Baker was signed with the New York Knicks the team that reached the playoffs in the 03-04 season. Baker was traded to the Rockets for, with Moochie Norris for Maurice Taylor in February 05. The Rockets will ultimately release Baker in October of 05. He spent the 05-06 NBA season in the reverse role with the LA Clippers. Baker signed with the Timberwolves in October of 05, I'm sorry, 06, reuniting him with head coach Dwayne Casey, who served as an assistant coach with Vin while he was in Seattle. His tenure in Minnesota was short-lived. Baker was released from the Timberwolves in November of 2006. He never played a regular season game after being in an inactive list for the first six games. Baker was also a morning show DJ on Houston-based radio station KPTY and has opened a seafood restaurant featuring seafood by chef Todd Curtis in his hometown of Old Sabre, Connecticut. Vin Baker also had a nonprofit foundation called Stand Tall. The Stand Tall Foundation is an organization that helps give kids a better future by financially assisting with different charitable and volunteer organizations. The goal of the Stand Tall Foundation is to help young people with education, personal development, and general well being. Baker's mother is Jean Baker. His father, Reverend James Baker, is an auto mechanic and a Baptist minister. In June 19, 2007, Baker was arrested in Norwood, Connecticut for drunk driving after leaving Foxwoods Resort Casino. On June 21, 2008, miimplode.com reported Baker's 10,000 square foot Old Sarebrook, Connecticut home was foreclosed and put up for sale for $2.3 million. The house was purchased by U.S. Bank for $2.5 million at an auction on January 28, 2008. He also competed in the 2000 Sydney Olympics, winning a gold medal with that team. He was a four-time NBA All-Star sele All Star selection from 1995 to 1998. He was also NBA All-Rookie first team in 1994, made the All-NBA second team in 1997, and the All-NBA third team in 1998. This is the bio of Vin Baker. 
Thanks for joining. Until next time.